when you have hard numbers and hard data, you can really show what the story is. People like me who are working more in an advocacy realm and also trying to make some of this data more accessible, give people access to the data that we are able to obtain is invaluable. When I came in thinking about, you know, what is it that I can give to others, the first thing I said is, you know, I want to teach you things that you can, you know, take home with you and start using on Monday. Just look at your numbers for yourself and not have a source. I really want you to understand that you, you have the power to do that yourself. Like the technology, especially for journalists, can seem intimidating, but some of the tools are not really as hard as you'd think. Like I had seen a demo of Google Fusion Tables, but to able to create one myself, I'd be like, this is really not as hard as, as you think. It's a real powerful tool. So I'm learning a lot from the people here. We learned how to use a, a, a whole bunch of tools, which we actually spent a whole lot of time actually coding uh, from scratch. And we found out yesterday that most of these tools are available. So that was very neat. <laughs> I've been to some hackathons before, and I think this is probably one of the best I've seen. Because you've got uh, somebody sitting at a table who's a real techie developer, and they write code, and they work with things that the rest of us don't even know what's on their screen. Uh, but they're working right with like a, somebody who just knows all about this neighborhood. So they're they're actually together, and that's you know that kind of cross sectioning has been a lot of fun to watch. This is the first time I've been in a hackathon, and my kids encouraged me, "Mom, you're excited about it. Just go. You know, you have to be strong. You you can do it." <laughs> writing a story and actually creating a journalistic product. Uh, I really care about because at a lot of hackathons, uh, they're so technology focused and not focused on substance. A lot of the work that I've done over the last few years has focused on advocacy around immigrant uh, rights issues. So I was hoping coming here I would meet other people who are interested in similar issues as I am, but also create a solution to the problems that we've seen. I think Meager Hack's particularly special because of the topic that we're addressing and the data that we're working with. A lot of these data sets about immigration are data sets that I've always wanted to have a reason to work with, so it's exciting to be with my teammates diving into these issues. Um, I've always been interested in immigration issues, and it's always been something that's been very close to me. And naturally, I've always been into, into technology, so I also feel like I'm doing what I, to a certain extent, I feel like I'm supposed to do. Like, it's something that's just... I feel I'm driven to do it. We have to provide more opportunities like the Migra Hack because they provide access to people and expertise. They create an environment, a very welcoming environment in which to explore what for many people can be intimidating. You know, the world is moving at a very fast pace and if we don't catch up, and frankly not even catch up, we've got to start leading 